Hi everyone, Jackie here from pinkalpaca.co.uk. It's a lovely day today and I'm going to be skirting an alpaca fleece. Uh, I've had it in a bag for a little while um, and it needs skirting because I actually want to start working with it. So um, I'm just going to go through and show you how I do that. Um, yes, it's a long winded process, but it's so worth it, especially when you've got a fleece as beautiful as this one is. Um, so let's get straight in. What I'm looking for is the good stuff, obviously, the good usable cuts. So um, we've got some little bits here that aren't, you know, that, that's a, this is a lovely little piece, but can you see the tiny, this, yes, that's no good whatsoever. So I get rid of all of these, these the smaller bits. Um, so I pick through it carefully, just pulling out the really short bits um, and looking for longer staple lengths. And by that I mean anything that is three to five inches with this particular fleece. Uh, the longest bits were about five inches long. So anything that is sort of two to three inches or less, then you know I'm getting, uh, I say get rid of, but what I mean is put it on my pile of second cuts. So what is a good cut? Well, a good cut is a nice long staple. Um, you're looking for anything that is super clean and look at this. this this is beautiful so this is a really nice you can see the crimp you can see the whites where it's been attached to the, to the animal um, that's definitely to be kept so this is a lovely clump and I'm hanging on to all of this um, the other thing to say about this particular fleece is it's really beautifully fine um, so even though I said this clump is great there were still a few little shortcuts there that I've just pulled out um, but the fleece itself was it, it, it is just so beautifully baby soft um, I get all my fleece from the same farm and um, you know I make sure I go through it quite carefully so sometimes you know as I'm dying I'll pick it again but can you see here that these bits are just short and chopped off yep definitely don't want that that's not a good bit but on the other hand here we've got something that is two to three inches that's a keeper okay so it's quite straightforward what you're looking for not so good stuff and short piece there and you know now this here is guard hair um, generally if you are using guard hair um, I would put it in with my second cut and I would use that for felting but just look at the difference sort of wiry there and here soft and fluffy so you pull out all the guard hair put that with your second cuts and yes you can felt with it particularly if you're making more robust pieces of felt um, like for bags or for slippers or anything like that because it's harder wearing and it will stand up to some use but the fluffy stuff is obviously what you want to use in your best pile your first cuts so separate those out um, a lot to look out for but once you get to know what you're feeling for and what you're looking for then it all gets better now when I come across bits like this I get excited because when you see something like this you know that the tips are all standing up it looks like a hedgehog doesn't it dirty on the tips but of course it's going to get washed I usually get a big clump like this and give it a really good shake just to get all the small pieces out first but it's all still attached to um, itself so where it was all shorn from the animal all cut off in one clump all consistently long keep the whole lot pull away all the smaller pieces it takes a good hour to do all of this but look at the end result I've only done half a bag in total of the whole fleece alpacas can be large animals but here I've got all the first bits that are cuts that I'm, I'm keeping at the back of the table um, are the second cuts that I will use for felting, for making bags, slippers, anything like that, anything more robust as I said before. Um, it looks like a lot of waste but remember it isn't really waste, it's all usable. Um, and this is how I bag it, just to remind myself. <laughs> I, I label everything because when you've got bags and bags of this in a storeroom, you very quickly forget what you've done. So label it all up so you know what's what's been done. And I've labeled this as super fine because it was an amazingly lovely um, low micron count um, fleece, this one. 
So there it is. It's been a full on morning of skirting an alpaca fleece and uh, if you go to my blog on pinkalpaca.co.uk you'll see the next stage in the process where I talk about how I dye the fleece. Um, I, I, you know, I love different colours as you know and lots of you have asked for information about how you do this so um, I'm just basically documenting as I go. Thank you all for joining me. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for coming on the journey with me. Bye.